Cool FM Live here at Lions Park in Benson, Arizona. And right now, today, a practice session is going on as teams are getting ready for the Shop with a Cop softball tournament fundraiser, which is October 4th. That's a Friday. In the evening, they're going to start that at 8 o'clock. And then October 6th, which, which no, is a Saturday. 5th. Oh, I'm sorry, October 5th, which is a Saturday here at Lions Park in Benson. And the man who started it all with his wife, uh, Eric Diaz, uh, Eric, um, you got to feel good about how this has grown over the years. I guess you started this like six years ago, right? Yes, I did. Uh, so me and my wife were just sitting around one day, honestly, uh, and we were like, what could we do to raise money to help with the community? And my wife works in a profession where children need help. Uh, so uh, I was like... I love softball, so why don't we try a softball tournament? So we did that first, and the first year was a success. So we stuck with it every year since. And, and how much have you raised in the last six years, uh, roughly? Roughly, I'm going to say between all six years, probably about $8,000. And what are you, you, you're telling me offline here that, this year is, is looking to be maybe your best yet. Uh, yes. Uh, this year we've had a lot of more of the community, uh, businesses. Um, I don't remember all their names. Zerings is one of them. Uh, uh, Dark Matter, a tattoo shop. Uh, Dale's Tire Shop. Um, man, I mean, there's just... Uh, too many to list. Like I, I will think them all when all this is all said. No, and exactly. Done. Yeah. But, but the community has come out more and actually made specific donations because the the teams that participate in this they have to give. It's uh, like two hundred fifty dollars a team. It's two hundred fifty dollar entry fee per team, uh, and we've already secured that money. So there is ten teams in this tournament, uh, and then we'll make a little bit more money with the home run bracelets that we sell, which are twenty dollars each. Uh, and with the home run bracelet, you get unlimited home runs. So, but in the championship, they will come off because if we leave the home run bracelets on during the championship, this this game would go on all night long. Like it would never stop. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so that's another part of the fundraiser there too, as well. Yeah. So that's great. So you've raised a lot of money here, and it's for the Cochise County Sheriff's Shop with a Cop, which is every December. And the sheriff's uh, department usually goes to Walmart, don't they, or some I, other I, stores? I believe so. Um, I don't know exactly wh where all they go, but I know they do go to Walmart. I know in Sierra uh, Vista it was Walmart. I, I remember in previous years, maybe in some other communities, it's it's some different places. But uh, it's a really good program, and you guys raise a lot of money here with this tournament every year. Uh, we do, and I, I take pride in it. I, like, uh, this is my baby. Uh like, I honestly thought about giving it up last year. Uh, I, I just, because the stress level of it, like, it, it gets overwhelming sometimes because you got to be, you got to keep with the books. And then if there's people arguing, arguing, you got to deal with all that. So, like, I was about to give it up. And my wife said, oh, you can't give it up. So... I yeah. could not give it up. Well, especially considering how much money you've raised oh, 100%. for them. Yeah. Um, and if the city of Benson would hurry, which I hope they do, and get our new fields built, I can make this thing way bigger than uh, than what it is now. Yeah, you could have a lot more teams. It could be like a statewide thing where it'd be, you know, probably even police departments uh, would form a team and come to this every year and it'll be a big boon for uh benson oh yeah uh, once once you get some extra ball fields here and you want to take it to that level just think of how much money could be raised and also uh how much money could be pumped into the benson area community and businesses as well too a hundred percent um like at one point we honestly thought about moving it to sierra vista because sierra vista has the fields yeah but like i started it here i want to keep it here like like it, it, it's gotten, right. it's gotten to the point of like I've never thought it would reach Phoenix, ever. Yeah. And I got a team from Phoenix coming. I got a team from Nogales. Uh, I got a team from Tucson. Uh, Sierra Vista teams. 
uh, in Benson teams. Like it, it, it's gotten pretty, it's gotten pretty, pretty big. And like I said, it's my baby, and I won't let it go. All like, right. I will fight for every bit of it just to see this thing get as big as it can. And I'm hoping it could be massive. That's what I'm hoping for. The more money we raise, the more families we can help. And if it ends up going towards uh, all of Benson, let's say Benson, Whetstone, Cochise, Sunsites, Pierce, uh, Sierra Vista, if it can help out them, Wilcox them, like if it can help them all out, cool. Then we did what we we did what we set our goal to do, is to make sure that kids have an amazing Christmas. Eric Diaz, thank you so much. It's the Shop with a Cap Softball Tournament fundraiser here in Benson. It started six years ago. Is this the sixth year or the seventh year? This would be the sixth year. This would be the sixth year. Okay, yeah. so it started six years ago, and you've raised around eight thousand dollars. But it looks like so far this year you may be be hitting the five thousand dollar mark just on this year alone. Yeah. Uh, if 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 everything keeps going the way that it's going, I think honestly we should be about five thousand, if not more. And if a business or an individual would like to donate, we've got your phone number in our post description. They can reach out to you if they or if they see you around town. Yeah, uh, if if they want to donate, uh, they can donate cash. They can donate checks. We prefer checks because then it can be made out to Benson Shop with the Cop, Inc. Uh, so I'd rather deal with checks than cash. Right, and uh, because that's the name of the organization, your nonprofit, or or uh, I I don't know if it's con I, I I think it'd be considered a nonprofit to be totally truthful yeah. with you. But but uh, for but, tracking purposes, yeah, like you for, say, yeah, your check for is tracking purposes, like uh, like because we deal with a lot of cash, especially when it comes like because. The day of the tournament, people would show up and just start handing money. And so we started making it where now this year we made it where they had a Venmo or a cash app us so we can track this money and make sure that, like, there's no, like, I don't know how you'd put it. No like, question on Yeah, on no, where, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Uh, and then if we need to buy something for the tournament, like, waters or something then we prove receipts yep all that stuff to make sure everything's on the up and up yep because uh like i said i don't want to lose something that i started over over something petty or be put in a situation where something happens like right. I, I put too much into this to lose it Yep, and obviously the sheriff's department gets a lot of money each year from these uh, these tournaments that you put on, and it's every year about this time. Yeah, uh, no, well, yeah, around this time, I think I think one year we did, I think it was in November. Yeah, but I, in the fall. Yeah, never yeah. again. It was freezing. Yeah, it got a little too cold. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting yeah. Out here just with little blankets and everything, trying to stay warm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, we had an opportunity to take this date. Uh, it was actually supposed to be last weekend, but the Lantern Festival. And so I was like, you know what? I would lose so much if I did it the same day of the Lantern Festival. So I said, forget it. We'll move it over to October 5th. But Rex Allen Days is October 5th. But, I mean, still 10 teams. I've had, I had 13. But like I said, three had to back out because like one of them, I don't know why. The other one is uh, people work in the morning on Sunday. So they just thought it was going to be like a few hours, be done with it probably, and that's it. No. Yeah. It, it'll run from 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and we have the field until I think 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Like I have the field all night long. So, and that's the cool thing is the city has been amazing working with me. Uh, and because I'm actually doing something good for the community. So, them not giving me a time limit of lights have to be off at this time has been a blessing. Because we've had tournaments where we've had the light shut off on us during one of our tournaments.
throughout two of our tournaments. And it's horrible because then people get mad and it makes me look bad. But you got it all worked out now. 100% worked <laughs> out. It, it is 100% worked out. Uh, the city, like I said, I got council member, men, council people behind me 100%. They want me to put a proposal together and show what I what I could turn this into if uh, if we had the fields to do it. And honestly, if we had the fields to do it, we could turn this into a huge tournament. Absolutely. Like, we could raise a lot, a lot of money. Yep. And so. you've already done so in a short period of time as well, and it looks like this is going to be another great year. If people want to come and watch, it's October 4th at 8 p.m. It starts here at Lions Park in Benson, and then it will return then on Saturday, October 5th, all day starting at 8 a.m. and go until, well, potentially late at night, I guess. Uh, we're, we're estimating between 2.30, well, 2, 2.30 would probably be the latest. If we stay on schedule, we could probably get out of here sooner. Oh, okay. All but right. But 2.30... Two, uh, in the afternoon, you mean? No, 2.30 in the morning. In the morning, yeah. meaning Sunday, Sunday morning. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. finish Sunday morning. Uh, depending on, like I said, uh, that's why we wanted to start Friday night. Yep. Uh, because if we can knock out some games, and that already puts some people in the loser bracket, and then we're not sitting here until 8 o'clock Sunday morning playing. Yeah, right, exactly. I mean, because like I said, you got people coming from Phoenix. You, you got people coming from all over, like, and it, trust me, I've been out here all night before playing. It's miserable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like just sitting here waiting for your team to waiting for you to come up to play. Sometimes you'll sit two, three, four hours. Like, yeah. It, it just depends. Uh, but I think this year everything is going to go amazing. Um, I think we'll hit our time crunch that we need to hit and. I, everything should turn out perfect. All right, looking forward to it. Shop with the Cops softball tournament fundraiser in Benson. Eric Diaz and your wife. Now, what's your wife's name? My wife's name is Chastity Cowan Diaz. All right. All right. And so she uh, has been a part of things helping with this as well, too. So we want to give a shout out to her as well. I look forward to the tournament. Thank you for all you do in the community here and all the money that's been raised. And uh, this year's event sounds like it's going to be another great event. If, if a team is watching or somebody that's a member of a team that wants to be a part of this next year, they can contact you. And uh, hopefully even next year will be even bigger and yeah. better than this year. I mean, the earlier, uh, like normally we put out uh, the flyer two months, three months in advance uh, before we're going to do it. That, so that gives teams time to, if they're going to put a team in or not, and like I said, I got some Benson teams that have been very loyal uh, and have put in a team every year. I thank them a lot uh, because without them, like, I don't think it'd be where it would be, to be totally true yep. with you. And the Sheriff's Department has a team, too. Oh, right? yeah, Kirsten. Yeah. Kirsten, uh, they are... They're the Chubby Unicorns. The Chubby Unicorns. Okay. Yes, the Chubby <laughs> Unicorns. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out to her, especially because uh, she let me roll with this. She gave me the opportunity to make something of this and to help raise money. So without her, without basically without her blessing, I would have never gotten as far as I've gotten. You know, right. This. So it means a lot to me that she trusts me enough to do all this and to let me continue it. And I'm hoping, like I said, as soon as we get our softball fields done, we can make this thing huge. All right. Eric, thank you so much. And uh, we will chat with you again down the road. And maybe we can do a, a little picture moment of you handing the check over uh, when you're done with the tournament uh, to the uh, Sheriff's Department. Nice. That'll work. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks again, Eric. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a great day.